Alright guys, today we're going to be working on this adult oversized cardigan. So let's get started. Okay guys, jumping right into this video, we are going to chain 40 plus 3 for the turn and chain. We're using a 19.00 millimeter hook for this. And this yarn is the Thick and Quick by Lion Brand. If you haven't seen my video before this, my Come With Me to Michaels, I showed exactly what um, yarn I will be using in this tutorial. So I will link that vlog up in the cards and in the description box. Okay guys, once again, I lost the clip of me doing this first row. I am still getting a hang of this eye movie on um, the mat, so just, just, just bear with me. But this is the second row. Basically, all we're doing is double crocheting up and down. So we're going to chain three. We're going to insert our hook into the second chain from the hook. And then we are just going to double crochet back and forth until this ball of yarn is done. It's like finish the ball completely before we start the needle. This project only took me two balls. But funny fact, <clears throat> I tried to make a different um, sweater and use two balls and it came out horrible. Like extremely horrible. So this is actually my second tutorial for this sweater. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we complete one whole ball. <coughs> I'm sorry. This is actually 14 rows, like half, like 13 and a half because the ball stopped in the middle. But I'm just going to show you how I connect the next ball, which is really simple. I just tie it. You'll see. And then I just keep going to that ball is done.
so this is just me showing you how I double crochet. Almost basic. I'm just gonna keep double crocheting back and forth, back and forth. I didn't realize that my floor and couch were showing, but this is me typically, this is how I crochet. I crochet on the couch with Netflix on, so which I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, but <laughs> I'm just going to let you guys watch it. Okay, so this is the end. This is what it looks like with two balls of yarn. So I'm going to show you how I sew the arms. So we're basically just going to fold it in half, make sure that it's even. At that last row that you did, you're going to make sure that you weave a tail. That's important. So now, 
stick and run away to get a hook yes i did so we are using a 10 millimeter hook to sew this together now you can use a tapestry needle but i didn't have any big enough for this um yarn to go through so i just used a smaller hook so i'm basically just going to slip knot across and do the same thing to the other side so i'm just gonna let you guys watch it um thank you guys so much for watching this video please like and subscribe and please share and that's it thank you guys so much for watching bye